All right, so I want to tell you the st what is what is uh, playing. Oh, the the sound is playing. I want to tell you the story of TMZ that contacted me yesterday for me to appear on their live TV cable show, cable TV show. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? So I, I only informed my Discord. I didn't tweet about it because when things go well, I don't want to mess them up. I just got invited on TMZ. Uh, it's like, I, I don't want to say anything that could lead them to want to de-invite me. So yesterday they contact me through their official Twitter channel and they say, do you want to be on TV? Would like you to comment about the news. Um, so I'm like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, my time is always available at any time. I will make time in my schedule to appear on TMZ. So I say this and okay, the, the schedule, it's a whole day process because I have to spend the day getting informed about really like current news. Like this is uh, TMZ is like three hour news cycle very much. So I have to be aware of, of, of the news at the three hour time point, at least uh, before the, the interview begins. So I may, uh, this morning I woke up at 8 a.m., I wake up, I start researching, researching. I know everything about the news. I'm ready for anything. You, you, can, you can say, JF, uh, what do you think about Blueface getting beaten by his uh, ex-girlfriend? And I'm like, oh, I have an opinion on this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, scanning the news to get prepared at anything. And, and some of you guys on the show yesterday were telling me, Jeff, you should be prepared. I mean, it's very weird that they're inviting you. I agree. So they might be trying to attack you. It might be a hit piece about you. And I'm prepared for any eventuality. So I'm in contact with their staff through Skype uh, for, for hours before the show. And he's like, here's the list of 10 news items that we could cover. Select the three of them and tell me, tell me the three that you would like to comment about most. And I'm like, okay, I selected these three. And the news items are drama, low-level, entertainment, fucking crap. And I'm like... Okay, you know, it's TMZ. I am an author. I never say no to any sort of exposure, good or bad. I'm going to talk about Jackie Chan and Britney Spears all you want. So here I, I select my three news item. The first news item, I say this is my favorite one because I have much to say about this. It's the Treads. The Treads, uh, the new Treads app from Mark Zuckerberg. I was banned on Twitter. I was saved by Elon. I'm very much aware of the civilizational issue here in terms of free speech. Uh, and, and so I said, that's my first choice. Second choice, Jackie Chan slammed by fans for abandoning a lesbian daughter, Eta Nung Chuk Lam, after a viral video emerges. And I say, this is my second choice. My angle would be as follows. I believe that in our society, we are dismissing way too much parents who exercise their free right to cancel their children because they disagree with their lifestyles when they become adults. And I believe it is entirely possible that Jackie Chan had hopes that he would be a grandparent, that his uh, daughter would live a, a reproductive lifestyle. She has chosen against it. On top of it, she never knew him, really, because she never wanted to know him, because she was raised by a single mother, and she says she's happy about this. And so there is no obligation for Jackie Chan to be caring for his throwaway daughter, who, who he never knew, who was raised not by his own decision, but by the decision of his single mother and of her single mother and her to not ever see him and not ever interact with him. So now she's on the streets and she's appearing with her lesbian girlfriend and saying, oh, we're poor now, we're on the streets, I can't believe anyone wants, no one wants to help us, we live under a bridge. 
it is an, an, and people were pointing out that Jackie Chan is a multimillionaire. Uh, I believe that it is not the responsibility of Jackie Chan. If he disagrees with the lifestyle of his adult daughter, he has no obligation toward his adult daughter. That's not like a child that you abandon who cannot help themselves. Uh, adult people can make choices in life and... Some of these choices may alienate them from their parents. I'm like, this is this is my second talking point. I can do it. And uh, I, I was imagining the TMZ staff's uh, eyes getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> and among the, the choices that he gave to me, I also said, this is my third choice. Kike Palmer's boyfriend defends shaming her outfit. I have standards and morals. Uh, so there's this woman who appears with an outfit. She's a mother. And the outfit is showing her fat thighs and ass. And this guy says, uh, the outfit, you know, it's a little too much for a mother. Fuck, uh, fuck this outfit. That's his comment. And so I'm like, I can, I can have an angle for your TMZ show on this. My angle will be as follows. It is time we bring back female shaming in our society. There has been way too much twerking behavior. Crack whores are everywhere on the streets. They need the help of men to guide them toward the right direction. And I believe that what he has done here, KK Palmer, although I personally don't take issue with this, this slightly revealing, uh, you know, bottom, uh, he has acted in a way that, that we should act more, which is shame women more for their abuse of sexual displays. <laughs> and, and then I, I get on, a, on an audio call with the TMZ staff, and the guy, the guy speaks like the gayest voice possible. And I'm not, I'm not laughing about it. It just seems like this person was gay. Uh, no judgment. And he's like, um, you were going to put you for sure on the thread stuff with Elon Musk. <laughs> for sure, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to put you on this story where you say shaming woman is good. Or on this story where you say Jackie Chan is entitled to abandon his lesbian daughter, you are for sure going onto the thread stuff. I think it's cleaner. Uh, he didn't say cleaner, but you know, he, he, was, he was letting me know by his voice that uh, we're going to try not talking about these subjects. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's talk about threads, uh, Elon Musk, and the, the question of free speech, and it's going to be all soft. Um, let's go, let's go, let's do it. Now, the show starts on cable TV. I can't follow it, so I don't know what's going on. But the TMZ staff calls me and he says, oh shit, uh, bro, uh, sorry. Uh, it turns out we're not going to do an extended segment on the thread stuff. It's not big enough. And right now we have trending uh, on Twitter, big story, Britney Spears gets slapped in the face by an NBA player. Is there a way you can comment on this? And I'm like, now it's, it just struck me. This is not an interview with Jean-Francois Gariepi. This guy is expecting me to be a caller like I'm some just general pop star fan. Just coming onto the show and saying, oh, hey, I have a question about Britney Spears. Uh, and I'm like, oh my God, this guy doesn't know who I am. No one, no, none of them knows who I am. Th they just picked me at random based on my Twitter follower count or something like this. And somehow I made it through the. And I'm like, oh, they want me now to comment on. Britney Spears. Well, Papa JF always provides. So I was like, I, I was like, I was trying to put myself into it. I had, I had a couple of minutes of preparation. I was like, what if I cared really, really much about Britney Spears? What if, what if I was a pop star fan? What, what, what would be my take about this? What if, 
What is Britney Spears smacked in the face by San Antonio Spurs security? What if that mattered to me? And so I read the story and I'm like, you know what, TMZ, I can have an opinion on this. My opinion will be as follows. Britney Spears uh, suffers from bipolar disorder. I believe that Britney Spears um, was in a hypermanic episode as someone who has seen and who has viewed a lot of people who and interacted with a lot of people who suffer from bipolar disorder. My hypothesis is that she got too enthusiastic and creative in her hypermanic uh, spree. She went toward the basketballer and tried to hug him or tried to approach him in a way that was too aggressive, too enthusiastic, too eccentric. And the security guard just did what he had to do. His job was to protect the basketballer so that he doesn't get injured. And to the, to the guard, she wasn't Britney Spears. She was just a random woman potentially approaching the guy with dangerous stuff. Uh, and he's like, okay, we're going to take that. And so I connect on Skype and he shows me what's happening live. But he also says, we're going to record your intervention as a separate clip. You're not going to talk directly to Harvey Levine. I'm like, okay. And so he, he says, okay, when I say go, 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 you go. And so I'm like, he says, go, go, go. And I, I, I'm bombarded in the earphones. I'm bombarded with the audio of Arve Levine speaking live. A caller, another caller that was talking to Arve Levine. And this guy saying, go, go, go. And I have this spam of audio. And, and I'm like, okay, Jeff, you have to keep a straight face. They are bombarding you with false audio streams. That is not what's currently happening. They're trying to record a clip. So I'm like, do a perfect performance. So I ignore the audio assault in my ears. And I'm like, hello, my name is Dr. Gary P. I am from Norton, Canada. My hypothesis is that Britney Spears, like many people who suffer, and I lay out the theory, she has a bipolar disorder. She has a hypermanic episode. She was too enthusiastic, too eccentric. She ran toward the basketball player. Uh, and the security guard interpreted this as, oh my God, it's a random fan. It's not Britney Spears. She thought in her head, I'm Britney Spears. I can certainly hug a basketball player. But the security guard didn't see it that way. He saw a random woman approaching uh, the basketballer. So he took issue, protected the basketballer, and that's it. So he says, uh, the, the, the gay employee of TMZ says, ah, oh, that was actually pretty efficient. That was very good. Because it was like, limit to 30 seconds. He, he, was, he was yelling in my ears, limit to 30 seconds, just 30 seconds. And I was like, and I timed it, boom, 30 seconds, superb delivery. Despite the audio assault, despite the, dis, the, the lack of concentration. So he's like, holy shit, that was good. Oh, that was good. And I'm like, all right, you got what you wanted. Bye bye. Thanks for, for inviting me. So I don't know what happened with this clip. <laughs> Did they take the clip and they played it on cable TV and perhaps it's not yet uploaded on their YouTube channel? Would it be uploaded later? Did, they, did, did another staff of TMZ look at the clip and say, oh my God, this is JF Gary P. You, we don't want this question. And then they canceled the clip. I, I have no idea. But I have committed to a delivery and I delivered. Because Papa JF delivers on all of his promises.